Welcome to the West Georgia Museum of Tallapoosa. This museum is the dream of its founder, Bud Jones, Tallapoosa native and taxidermist. City officials, along with a small group of interested citizens, started plans for a museum in 1990. The new museum opened in a building in town July 4, 1991. A few years later, there was a need for a larger building, and with the help of city officials and citizens, a new building was erected just off of Bowden Street. The ribbon cutting for this new museum was in July of 2000. The West Georgia Museum is a history museum made up of contributions from local citizens depicting the area's past history. This video tour will show you many of the wonderful exhibits featured in this museum. This is a recreation of an old general store. Many goods are on display. There is a replica of the Tallapoosa Journal office from 1886. This was Tallapoosa's first newspaper. You'll also find a diorama including mounted animals from Harrelson County, as well as other mounted animals throughout the museum. All of Tallapoosa schools are represented in the museum. There is even an exhibit featuring the first free public school in Georgia. This was opened in 1892. One area displays many military items. The Lithia Room displays a large model of the Lithia Springs Hotel, the largest wooden structure east of the Mississippi in 1892. Many of the furnishings from the hotel are displayed in the Lithia Room.
The Creek Indian Village fills one room, showing artifacts from our Creek Indian heritage. Talapusa is the Creek Indian word for golden water. The grape growing industry is also featured in this museum. Tallapoosa was the largest grape growing and wine making industry east of the Mississippi in the early 1900s. The bird room displays a collection of mounted birds, nests, and eggs from Georgia. Children will be amazed at the replicas of giant dinosaurs from the past. Many of the exhibits throughout the museum change regularly, and the newest exhibit in progress is a replica of the Holland Gold Mine just south of Tallapoosa. $45,000 in gold was mined in just one weekend back in 1849. Holly Jones is responsible for many of the paintings you'll see in the backgrounds throughout the museum. Currently, Mildred McElroy is the museum's curator and welcomes visitors to enjoy the museum Monday through Saturday. After visiting the West Georgia Museum, we hope you leave with a better understanding of Tallapoosa's unique heritage. <laughs>